crafty friends, my name is Chris with Daily Dose of DIY where I teach you how to use your Cricut and make fun crafts too. Today we are going to be making these graduation lanterns. I know with the pandemic and everything going on, um, graduation, the poor seniors have been left out I guess a little bit, haven't been able to have some traditional parties. Hopefully that will change by the spring. But either way, we need to celebrate those graduates, and I'm going to help you do that. Let's head on over to my computer. I have these SVG files for you for free, so I will show you how you can grab those, and then we will make these lanterns. First, let's take a look at some supplies we'll need to make these graduation lanterns. You'll want some cardstock. We can use 8.5 by 11 per each lantern. You grab your school colors or your favorite colors, whichever, and then you're going to want some tissue paper or volume paper. I'm using sparkly tissue paper for my lanterns. You'll also need some scissors, a glue stick, and a well-worn green cut mat or a light blue mat. Finally, you're going to need a scoring stylus, or if you have a maker, you can use a scoring wheel. All right, let's head on over to the computer and get that SVG file now. We'll direct link you to this free SVG library sign up in the description down below. First you'll see a video that will give you a sneak peek of the SVGs and some instructions. All SVGs are listed in alphabetical order. Simply click on get my free SVGs, enter your first name, email address, and then click send my password and the password will be emailed to you right away. Now we are going to go into Cricut. I already have the 2021 design uploaded, so I'm just going to select it and come down here to the bottom of my screen and click Insert Images. Everything is pretty much ready to go except for one thing. We do have these score lines on here to make it easier for you to fold. If you look to, on the Layers menu over here on the right, you'll see at the top, very first layer, it says Cut. And Cricut will cut those lines if you don't change them to score. <laughs> so um, they can't identify a line when you bring it in if it's supposed to be score or if it's supposed to be cut. So they automatically bring it in as cut. Now there's two different things you can do. Let's go back here and I will show you. If you do want to score it, we're going to go to the top over on the left where it says line type and click on that. It says cut now, but we can go down and select score. Now, maybe you don't, you'll see then it changes these to dashed lines. So Cricut does now know to score those. And you will need to select everything and attach it. But before we do that, I wanted to show you, if you don't want to score it, all you have to do is click that little eyeball over here. I'm back on the layers menu on the right see the score lines are there and you click the eyeball and then they disappear. So if you don't want score lines just click that eyeball and Cricut won't score and we don't even have to worry about it. I'm going to score those so I'm going to turn them back on and then you do also still have to select everything and on the layers menu on the bottom here where there's a little paper, click, paper clip and it says attach Click on that so Cricut will keep the score lines with our lantern. Then we're ready to hit the Make It button. This shows us our screens. Everything's good to go. It will fit on an 8.5 by 11 sheet. Make sure to load your sheet horizontal like this. If you have a Cricut Explorer, you can go ahead and turn your dial to cardstock and load your stylus into clamp A. If you have a Cricut Maker, we're going to select our base material, which is medium cardstock from the list. Let me back that up. I have mine favorited. If you don't have yours favorite, you browse all materials and then search cardstock. And that will, if you can spell it right, will bring up the options they have for cardstock. We are doing a medium duty. And then on number two for a maker, you want to click edit tools. It will automatically go to a scoring wheel, which is recommended if you have a maker. I 
not going to use my scoring wheel, I'm going to use my stylus. And if you're going to do the same, you need to select the scoring stylus and then apply. If you are going to use that scoring wheel, you need to open up clamp B, remove your blade and insert your scoring wheel. Okay, I think we covered it all. Let's head back to the craft table and get these cut. Okay, I'm going to place my paper in the upper left corner of my green cut mat. It's in the landscape position as it showed on our screen. We're just going to smooth it down and then open our Cricut Maker and line it up under those tabs and hit the mat load button. Next, take your scoring stylus and insert it into clamp A. If you're using your scoring wheel, insert it into clamp B. Hit the go button and then Cricut will start cutting. Not this fast, of course. I'm speeding it up so you don't have to wait the whole entire time. Once it's finished cutting, hit the unload mat button and then we're going to flip our mat over and peel the mat back from the paper. This will help keep the design from tearing and the paper from curling. I'm not folding the, the mat in half, just gently roll it back off of the paper and your mat will not break and your paper will come off undamaged. To get the rest of the bits off of your Cricut cut mat, go ahead and grab your scraper tool and just scrape them off into a pile and then you can throw them out. To cut the tissue paper, I simply line up a corner with the lantern and then you can use your scissors to cut around the edge. This can give you some uneven cuts though, so if you have a craft knife, I find that easier to get straight cuts. Just gently go around the outer edge of the lantern. Don't press too hard or you'll cut through the cardstock. It just takes a light push to get through the tissue paper though. Now we are ready to grab our glue stick and glue the tissue paper down. I'm just going to go around all of the edges, but actually I made a mistake here. I'm putting the glue on the wrong side. You want to make sure you flip it over and you're putting the glue on the back side of the lantern. So let's go around all the edges down each of the centers and then be sure to hit the inside in a couple of places. Then we're going to take that piece of tissue paper you cut and smooth it over the glue. Get it on nice and flat without any wrinkles. Now we're ready to fold the lantern along the score lines. It generally folds pretty easy right where you see the score line, but you might need to lay it down and use the table to help you uh, bend it and get it folded in half. We're going to fold down each center and the glue tab at the end. Now that everything's folded, we can go ahead and add glue to the last tab. Make sure everything's lined up and then press the two ends together to form your lantern. After it's all done, it doesn't look cute, we can go ahead and add lights to the center. Once again, my name is Chris. Thank you so much for crafting with me today. Congratulations to you and your graduate. Be sure to like and subscribe for more fun Cricut crafts and tutorials.